Yes, demons, spirits, they can help you if you ask. But they expect to receive something in exchange of the favors. And uh, you, it's not really a great thing, you know, but if you offer something uh, like a candle, uh, burn a, a special incense, buy a special little rock and put it in a place that is like a the shroud that represent them and put it there and offer it to them and uh, little things. It's amazing how you can ask for favors, big favors, and they will do things for you in return for small things, small offerings. And of course you can offer bigger things, bigger favors, and they will respond. But remember, always when you ask from them, be thankful, be nice, don't demand nothing, just ask and offer to them that if they give you the favor, you will give them whatever is that you want to give them. And uh, they will respond to you. Some spirits respond faster than other ones. Uh, that's how they are. And one thing that is important, different spirits, different demons do different things. Not all of them do the same things. It's like if you need a, an attorney, you go look for an attorney. You need a dentist, you go with a dentist. Same thing with them. They have a sp a specific things they can do better than the other ones. But you will learn these kind of things as you work with them. I have seven demons that I work with and uh, I know each of their names and their specific sigils. Uh, they have given to me, they have speak to me and uh, is one specific that has spoke to me more than the other ones. When you ask for a favor and you promise something, make sure you don't promise anything you cannot do and make sure that you do what you promise. Uh, don't promise things and when they answer to you, because they will, then you will say tomorrow, tomorrow, and next thing you know, you don't do it. Another thing that is important to know is, if you, when you develop a relationship with them, and when I say them, I don't mean with all of them, with the one or two or three that you specifically will eventually deal all the time, if you ask a favor for somebody else, let's say you ask a favor to help your best friend, remember you are the one responsible to give them back something for the favor. Not the person you ask for. You the one asking, they giving that person the favor because you, then you are responsible to do something for them. When you ask them, you have to be very specific, very clear. They cannot read your mind. You cannot just say, well, I want help and, uh, and, and my job, and they say, you have to be as, as specific with them, just like you are with uh, a human being. When you call somebody because you need something, you explain what you need, how you need it, when you need it, why you need it, and this is exactly the way you had to deal with them. Remember, they are 
creatures, very intelligent, very powerful, but they are not, they don't know at all. They have their limitations. Compared with us, they are super powerful, but they have limitations. Then deal with them in the same way you will deal with another person. Talk to them, be specific of what you want, be specific of what you're going to do for them in exchange of the favor. It's two ways of do effectively do uh, ask for favors. One is what I will call spontaneously. The other one is formal, with very formal rituals. Uh, and you know, in magic they call it high magic, where you had to do a lot of rituals, a lot of preparation. And I had tried both sides. And uh, one time they came to me and they explained me I was talking with Lucifer in this moment and uh, you know I used to make this circle with the pentagram and get in the middle and all this stuff all the necessary rituals and uh, he told me that I don't need to do that uh, and I told him I said well you know in all the books that I have read uh, it's all these rituals, all these uh, things that has to be done. He says, no, that's not necessary. And uh, after that day, I, I'm talking about myself right now, I never have prepared any circles, any pentagrams, any nothing. Uh, if I want to talk to a specific demon, yeah, I maybe will draw the sigil in a piece of paper when I call the demon. but. All that ritualistic stuff, I don't do it anymore. And I have talked to them and have a relationship with these entities for many, many years. Never been hurt in any way. They come, they talk, and they go. Just like if you grab your phone and call your brother, sister, father, you don't have to do all these rituals. You just dial the number and they answer the phone and you talk and when it's over just hang the phone this is how is my relationship with them and i believe you can have it like that then try to forget a little bit about all the rituals and all that stuff and just be more spontaneous more normal with them when you talk to them you can uh, eventually create uh, a relationship where you know you uh, you want to begin to have a conversations with them because you can ask for favors and and offer in return a favor and that's it and they're gonna do it for you because believe me each person has one, two, three, four, five different creatures, demons, spirits around them, each of them. I have, I know that because I have put dozens of people under and talked to the spirits that are with them and everyone has them, everybody has them. Well, if you want to begin a, a relationship of conversation with them, I have a system, I have a way that I do it, but it's many ways. You can use uh, a witchy board, this way, or you can use perfectly a crystal ball. I used the crystal ball many years before and it works beautifully. And you can use water, you can use candle wax, you can use many ways, and it's books uh, that you can find and, uh, and, and the, find the oracle that you get attracted the most and use that one. 
And it's something that maybe the first time you do it, nothing is going to happen. The second time, maybe nothing is going to happen, but you have to, it's like learning to drive a car. At the beginning, you don't know how to do it. Then you practice and practice, and eventually you become so good that you drive thing, your car and you'll be talking with somebody else and thinking about something else. And, as yeah, a second nature. Well, any way that you like to talk to them, you can develop, but you have to be disciplined, you have to practice, and practice, and practice, and eventually, after 30 days of doing it every day, you will start having results. And you can have them before that. But in my experience, when I begin with the crystal ball, it took about 28 days when finally, one night, boom, was incredible uh, uh, response. I mean, something amazing started happening. Then you need to dedicate a specific time to communicate with them, and eventually you will have a beautiful communication back and forth with them. Then remember, they are friendly demons. They respond faster than any other spirit. And they are very caring. When they like you, they will take care of you. They will protect you. But always remember, everything you offer to them in exchange of your favors, make sure to do it. Make sure to be thankful and as you go and you see how great they are, you will begin to develop feelings for them and you will start loving them and they're going to love you too. If you have learned something from this video, please like, subscribe in my channel and make a comment. My name, Mario Armas. I will be with you soon again. Thank you.